Alice, Bob, Carol, and David are running for president of the Homeowner Association. The preference schedule is given. Determine the Condor State winner, if there is one. So in determining the Condor State winner, we're going to pick candidates against each other. doesn't really matter who you start with. I'm just going to start with A and B. And go through each column and determine which candidate was more preferred, A or B. So in the first set of voters, A is over B, so A is more preferred, so A gets those 15 votes. In the second set, B is over A, so B gets 11. In the third step, A is over B, so A gets the 8. In the fourth one, A again is over B, so A gets 5. And in the last one, A is over B, so A gets 2. Okay, so adding all this together, we find that A gets 30 votes to be the 11 votes. So that means that A wins that competition. So this means that B cannot be the Condor State winner. I'll just cross him out because you have to beat all of the competitors. So I'm just going to continue with A and do A versus C. Do the same thing. So in the first set, A is over C, so A gets 15. In the second one, C is over A, so C gets 11. In the third one, C is over A, so C gets 8. A is over C, so A gets 5. And A is over C, so A gets 2. So adding up each column, A gets 22, C gets 19, so A is the winner of that competition. So that means that C cannot be the Converse Day winner, because you have to beat all of your competitors. So let's see what happens when we do A versus the last one, which is D. So if A wins this competition, A is the Converse Day winner. In the first column, A is over D, so A gets 15. In the second column, D is over A, so D gets 11. In the third column, D is over A, so D gets 8. Okay, looking promising for D. In the fourth one, A is over D, so A gets 5. And then in the last column, D is over A, so D gets 2. So A has 20, and D has 21. So this means that D is the winner of that competition, so A is not the Converse State winner. Okay, so maybe D is the Converse State winner. So now we have to pit D against another candidate. Let's do D versus B. Okay, so in the first column, B is over D, so B gets 15. In the second column, B is over D, so B gets 11. In the third one, D is over B, so D gets 8. In the next one there, D is over B, so D gets 5. And the last one there, D is over B, so D gets 2. So adding these together, D has 15 and B has 26, so B wins that competition, so D can't be the Converse State winner. So if you noticed, I crossed out every Single candidate. A is crossed out, B, C, D, everyone is crossed out, so nobody beats all of its competitors. So that means that there is no Condorcet winner. So that is a possibility. You may not have a Condorcet winner.